What's up guys? Oh. Good afternoon. I am flying to Istanbul today with Red Bull. I can't believe I'm saying that out of my mouth, what the fuck? As you guys know, I worked with Red Bull for the past year and I'm flying out to Istanbul for a entrepreneurship event. What the fuck? I just showered. I'm at the airport lounge right now. And if you're wondering, yes, there's a shower at the airport lounge because I'm flying business class and it comes with the perk. Thank you Red Bull for flying me business class. It seriously means the world. I did not come from a ton of money and I don't know, it's just cool to treat yourself and have a little nice experience here and there, but I'm getting ready to board. So let's do this together. If you're wondering, um, this is what I'm wearing. Lululemon and my mom's yoga pants. All right, guys, so we've arrived in Istanbul, Turkey. I just got to my hotel. I didn't know if I explained this to you guys, but I'm here for an event with Red Bull called Red Bull Basement. And it's basically a competition where students pitch their business ideas, and I'm a judge. So this is what we got in the hotel room. First of all, love the room. Not sure why there's two beds, but that's okay. First, I was greeted to such a cute Red Bull Basement crew neck sweatshirt and we got a cool glass water bottle from Porsche. We got a cool toiletry bag and of course Red Bull greeting card and of course a Red Bull. I want to check out the bathroom. Apparently this is some legit shit. How do I, how do I turn the lights? <gasps> Whoa. You guys, this bathroom is so pretty. Like look at the shower has a seat it's like marble i can't wait to shower here and yeah i'm pretty sure i'm gonna take it easy tonight it's like already super late i might get dinner with the red bull team and just sleep because i am it's crazy how tired you can get without doing anything all day like i feel like i'm just exhausted from sitting on a flight for 13 hours but let's go shower it's so cute all right, good morning, everybody. We are here in Istanbul. This is the beautiful view. I just was doing some work. I have a client meeting at 5 p.m., but me, Kaylee, and Karina are gonna explore the city before we have a bunch of stuff to do. So let's go do that. So we're currently at the candy, candy store at the Grand Bazaar. <laughs> Kaylee is gonna get some Turkish dessert. Things. We just finished from the Grand Bazaar and now we're getting street food. Me and Kaylee are share a single nut. <laughs> Thank you. Trying a wrap. All right, so I just came back from the Grand Bazaar. It was so cool to see Istanbul. We walked a lot, so I just came back to the market, grabbed some snackies, and let's just try some Turkish snacks together. I have no idea what I got, but we have two chips to try. Also, I have a meeting in like 10 minutes, so we're gonna do a rapid fire taste test. The first chip I got is this crisp with a hot chili sign on the thing. I have no idea what this is, but it looks yummy. Okay, let's try it. Kinda looks like a ruffle. Mmm. Yeah. It's like kind of sweet like a Weethin, but spicy like a Cheeto. It's a spicy Weethin. Interesting combination, but I don't mind it. Then we got this Mongol cracker. We'll see what it tastes like. Ooh! Kind of looks like a Chex Mix. Mmm! This is like really good. It's slightly cheesy but tangy. Kind of barbecue -y. 10 out of 10. If you're ever in Turkey and you see this, get it. Okay, so I'm gonna get ready for my meeting in 10 minutes. It's with a new client for my agency, X8. We're doing marketing for a crypto company in the environmental space, which is really fun. So today's the kickoff call and I'm having a red bill, of course, because <sighs> I'm so tired, but this is gonna help me get back up to my excited mood. But yeah, it's 4.50. I'll check in with you guys after the meeting. And I'll see you guys later. I like the way Duolingo does it, which is basically take trending songs and audios, but then insert a consistent meme, which is their mascot. I just finished my meeting. I'm gonna go to dinner. This is my OOTD. I kind of feel like death because <laughs> I'm just so tired and like, I'm gonna make a whole video about it, but I'm really stressed about my NF Treehouse project startup because there's just so many technical difficulties with our launch and we're not selling as much because of it, I think. And 
I don't really know what to do other than try to come up with more marketing ideas and plans, but I feel so tired and just kind of overwhelmed that I feel like we're not gonna sell out and we're not gonna plant trees and no one really cares. It's just really hard because I set just really high expectations for myself. I want everything to sell out on the first day and it's like day five, day four, and we're just, we're halfway there, but it could be better. And I, I, I feel so sad, but I'm gonna go to dinner, take my mind off it and hopefully give you guys more updates as we go. Oh my gosh. Good morning, everybody. So I just got room service. As you guys can see, it looks absolutely ins- <laughs> We got some pita bread, got some chicken with hummus and chili. We got some Turkish bread and falafel plate, which you guys can't see right here. Today, we're going to uh, the official venue for the basement competition. I think there's a keynote opening speech. So I'm gonna eat my breakfast, it's currently 11 a.m. And then I have a meeting with my assistant, Becky, at noon. Then I'll head over to the venue at one. I actually am so curious what this is. Look at this, like, it looks like a chocolate croissant. It's not chocolate. <laughs> Put a little cream cheese on this bagel. Wow. I'm feeling a lot better about the NFT thing. This morning I took some time to message the team and say, hey guys, like, I know things are slow, but like, I still believe in the vision, because I do. And I think that just made me realize that it's okay to admit that things are slow and that will give you the leadership cue to like step it up and that's okay like i guess i was so kind of embarrassed that we're not selling enough and that's you you just can't be embarrassed you gotta be like okay with the journey you know and i learned in that moment like it's okay not to have everything figured out because we're still learning and growing but yeah i feel like i feel a lot better it's just definitely hard you know to not take it personally i'm very good at taking things very personally and you just can't do that when you're running a business or even building a youtube channel you just have to like keep going like do not cry and be like ah! you know i don't know i'll see you guys when i'm at the venue these lines or my favorite approaches um. <laughs> brian she doesn't <laughs> mean anything why is she stalking you why is she Ginger, stalking you he's like away. um i'm are you walking away from me are you oh, she's oh, like i'm done cry. with this wait look at what's going on <laughs> yeah. oh she had a sneeze it was just a sneeze <laughs> <laughs> she was shy she was just a little shy <laughs> Alright guys, so I got back from the event. The actual day of pitching is on Sunday, and today's Friday, so it was a good day one. I'm getting ready to go to dinner. I just took a nap for like two hours. It was fucking great. But I had a phone call right before this with our developer, Zach, from NFT. We were trying to figure out like the NFT mints trying to push sales because it's been really slow and it went good. Like we're just strategizing on how we can just keep pushing sales. Like we are selling every day. It's just really slow. And we're just thinking like, what if we, you know, kept being more patient, you know, like we don't need to sell out today. What if we were to extend the sale and keep partnering with creators and planting more trees? Like we could just be more patient with it. It is really like, I don't know, like what my expectation was, but like, you know, I was hoping we would sell all of the 60 trees in one day like I don't think 60 is a big number but when you think about it like 60 trees is a lot like I don't know maybe maybe I'm too hard on myself but I think we're doing good I feel a lot better after calling Zach and just figuring out what that plan looks like and also I just feel better in general just being patient with myself like I was just so hard on myself you know so I feel a lot more at peace with where things are at it's just hard, you know? As a founder, it's hard to admit that things are slower than you expected. Like, just saying that out loud can be kind of scary, but once you just put it out there and you say your truth, you feel a lot better. And I hope that helps you guys with whatever you are going through. Just, that's what I'm saying, you know, this is a shitty situation, but I'm gonna make it through. I'm gonna figure it out. Always makes me feel better for some reason. Just saying it out loud makes me feel a lot better. Good morning, it is day three, I don't know. It is Saturday here in Istanbul. Oh my god, I literally forgot where I'm where I am. But we are currently going to a media trip day. I have no idea where we're going. Redville planned this whole day. Saturday, we're exploring Istanbul. It's currently 9.15 a.m. We're about to board all the buses over there, but me and Kaylee just got a coffee. We got a bagel. We got, we got a bike. Did you get a bagel too? Or you just had a cookie? You got the bagel. Oh. I got a cookie. Okay, you got a bagel. You got a bagel. It's not as good as this combination might shock you, but I genuinely do eat it, so I need to get a take. Wait, is it delicious or suspicious? <laughs> Imagine, toast, sourdough, whatever, yeah. peanut butter, okay. Yep. Wait for it, wait for it. 
cheese and then grapes on top. No, absolutely not. I need it. No. <laughs> no. You're good, you're good. PBJ is already with, you know, grapes, yeah. peanut butter. And then yeah, cheese the is kind of like charcuterie. Do you guys like charcuterie? Yeah, what, I don't know. Meat and I cheese. Don't do cheese and fruit. No. Oh, that's a good question. What kind of cheese? Yeah. Oh, uh, like I usually use like, like Parmesan. Parmesan. Oh. <laughs> Parmesan. Yeah. That's yeah, right? I thought you were going to do like a slice of cheddar or something. No, 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 no. Yeah, I probably wouldn't like order it and like pay money for it. But I would, <laughs> I would make it, it for you. Yeah, well, yeah. Here's the thing. You can't really order this anywhere. I just yeah. made it up. I think there's a reason for it. <laughs> Thank Proven. you for watching Delicious or Suspicious. Episode 3 will be based on your guys' feedback. <laughs>